Oh my gosh, guys, I've been wanting a really nice leather wallet for a long time. I have this old fossil wallet that's been falling apart and I, I haven't been able to just decide on a wallet to get and plus the really good ones, the ones that are like nice leather, properly stitched together, they're expensive. And so I got contacted by this company called Pop Off Leather out of Canada and they make some killer wallets, fair prices, and they were like, hey Bird Snake, we're gonna give you a wallet. They gave me a wallet, guys. They sent me a wallet. It's awesome. I I've been using it for a couple of weeks. Uh, I wanted to get it broken in before I did the review so that I could kind of show you what to expect because when you get one of these wallets in the mail, they're, they're just fresh leather. And so as soon as you start to wear them, they kind of mold to what you keep in the wallet and how you wear them in your pants. It has a lifetime warranty, but really it's the kind of wallet where if it breaks, you can go to the leather store and buy the sinew or whatever and put it back together yourself. I mean, it's nice. So you can see, it's really already broken in around the things I carry. And the stitching is excellent. A wallet like this is gonna get imprinted by the things you sit on. You can really almost see the jeans imprinted on that. And th these kind of marks are to be expected. These are like the personality of your wallet. I usually have more cash than this in there. I like to carry a variety of ones and fives and stuff like that so I can make change if somebody wants to buy a mattress with cash. I've had this thing loaded up with, with cash and checks and all that a couple of times, some receipts, and it functioned just fine. Uh, it would still close and go in my back pocket. Didn't feel like it was gonna stretch anything too much. It came, it came in this nice branded box, which is cool. And it comes with this, with this sheet that explains everything. It does explain that the leather sometimes has markings uh, and that they don't consider that defect, defective or undesirable. They, they, that's what makes it beautiful. Some of these full grain leather wallets, if you, if you felt other ones, like um, especially the cheap ones, like if you go out to uh, like a trade show and just or, or a, a tourist shop, they feel like planks of leather. This really isn't like that. It, it has a softer feel. It feels like nice leather. It really does. If you want to know more about it, check out their website. I'll put a link down there. Uh, there's like videos and pictures of Ryan making the wallets and talking, talking about it and all that. And it's a pretty informative website about leather, honestly. Uh, I knew a little bit about leather from reading on Buy It For Life on Reddit. Uh, so, you know, when, when these guys contacted me, I went to their website, I was like, yep, this is exactly what I've been looking for. I would definitely buy one of these if they hadn't sent one to me. I really had been looking for a fairly priced buy it for life type wallet and just hadn't found one that I, that I wanted to, that I was sure I wanted to buy. So I was really stoked when they contacted me. Um, you guys know me, they got the knives and the, all, you know, man bag, all that stuff. So, you know, a fancy wallet, or I don't know if fancy is the right word, a tough built wallet that'll last forever. That's exactly the kind of thing that I was looking for. Anyway, I just wanted to, sh to, sh to share my thoughts on this wallet with you. I, I'm, s I'm super excited about it. After carrying it for, a, you know, I think two weeks or a month maybe, uh, I know that it's gonna, it's gonna stand up to the way I use a wallet. And I'm pretty rough on a wallet. I do a lot of cash. I always have cash so I can make change for people. And so, yeah, I, I, I kind of destroyed my, let me show you my fossil wallet. This is my old fossil wallet. First off, all the trim around it, you can't even tell anymore, came off all around the edges. These, these, card, these card holders got so loose that I had to put all my cards in here, my real cards, and I just would end up sticking business cards in there. I mean, it served me well, but it's kind of junk. It's made, it's made with a type of leather called Horween leather. I guess Horween is the process uh, that they use to tan it, but it, it makes it a soft yet strong leather. And that's, that's one to me one of the most important things. If, you've ever, if you ever go to a, like a souvenir shop, they'll have some leather wallets that look like nice leather wallets, but when you hold them in your hand, they'll feel like a brick. This doesn't feel like that. Um, it, feels, it feels soft, it feels pliable but at the same time, it feels like it's holding everything in there that it's supposed to. And one of the coolest things about it is, it smells awesome. It makes me feel good to smell that. Anyway, I would, I would not hesitate to recommend this to anybody. They make little card holders and stuff like that. I just needed a full-size wallet because I'm a cash guy. Go check them out and read their about page. I'll put a link down here. There's, there's videos of them working on this stuff, a lot of pictures. Uh, their story's compelling, I, I think it goes, Ryan was going to college or and, and started doing leather work as a hobby then 
somebody convinced him to put one on Etsy as a as an experiment or a joke and bam here he is with a leather company anyway I just want to share that with you I, I'm super excited about it and I hope you get one too I'm Bird Snake thanks for watching